Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Anchor Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanzik, Teaching and Learning Coordinator at Springboard Media. Today, in honor of Teacher Appreciation Day, we're going to take a look at some digital tools that teachers can use to create and grow their personal learning network. A personal learning network is people that you choose to follow or find content from so they can help you grow as a teacher. They can have different ideas or suggestions or pose questions. There's many different ways to create your own personal learning network. Teaching at times can be an isolating profession. Creating a personal learning network, you can find connections to other educators. There's many different ways to create your own personal learning network. One great way to find educators who are sharing new ideas and tips and strategies or questions is Twitter. In case for some reason you don't know what Twitter is, Twitter is instant social networking or instant social media where each person has 140 characters where they can compose a tweet or an idea that they'd like to share with everyone and your timeline constantly updates so you can constantly see what people are adding. The cool thing about this is Every minute you're getting new ideas and gathering more information. Links to websites, questions, example projects. One of the caveats to this though is that some of these are just digital noise. Some of these are just things that people are posting like, oh, I am eating dessert. So you need to find the right people to follow. One way to do this would be to search for hashtags. In education, the hashtag edtech will help you look at all kinds of posts, as well as people who are posting about educational technology. When you look at the tweets, you actually probably want to click on all, so you can see all the tweets that include EdTech. As you can see here, you can also use EdChat. There are many, many different Twitter hashtags that educators use, including first grade chat, second grade chat, fifth grade chat, social studies chat. You can also see all the people that you're recommended to follow. And if you click on one of them, you can see a bunch of information about this person, a link to their website, information about who they're following, and then also some other things about organizations that are similar to this. So you can follow these as well. The way that Twitter works in terms of connecting is called retweets. So you can retweet something that you think is interesting that you'd like to share with your followers. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter at UMandyTime. You can also follow Springboard Media at WeSellMax. Another really interesting way to find information that's already been curated for you, where you don't have to look at every blog and every newspaper ever, um, is newsletters. Specifically, I subscribe to the Smart Brief by ASCD, as well as EdSurge Instruct, both of which are really, really good newsletters that come out once a week um, or multiple times a week that include many different articles and links to information that's relevant to teachers. They curate the content for you and put it together in a nice, neat package that only takes about five minutes to read. You can also add comments to any of these articles and start a lively discussion or debate. Promethean Planet is the world's largest interactive whiteboard community, and we often think about it as a really good place to download Promethean flip charts. But this can also be an aspect to your personal learning network as well, through the teacher's lounge, through the blogs, through different news and events, as well as through the forums. You can subscribe to the forums so you get those emails um, in your email if you'd like to find out more information about curriculum or products and there's questions that interest you. There is also a My Planet section where you can actually friend people that are on Planet and then start conversations with them in a way like Facebook or Twitter. There are also a bunch of different uh, NINGs or social websites created around specific topics. Three that I belong to include the Interactive Whiteboard Revolution, Classroom 2.0, and iPads in Education. Each of these has similar tabs along the top, including video, discussion, and blogs, members, and groups. And this is a place where like-minded people get together to share resources and ask questions about educational technology or different subjects depending on what you'd be interested in. There are many, many, many more things, 
and you can search for them to find one that's relevant to the specific subject or specific degree that you're teaching as well. I was lucky enough to be able to participate in Google Education on Air last week, where I learned about Google Hangouts. Google Plus Hangouts is video chat where you can chat with up to nine people. Other people can listen into the conversation, but their video won't be on the screen. It's awesome because you have face-to-face -face capability right through your webcam, and you can have chat going on as well as conversation. Thanks so much for watching today's active tip. Of course, another great way to grow your personal learning network is to meet face-to-face -face with like-minded educators. Stay tuned for more information about Springboard Media's upcoming summer teacher boot camps in Philadelphia.